Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy. I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, we can help you do it. We can help you deal with it. 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head to my website, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the website. We have blog posts and news stories at the websites as well, and you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, earn thank you checks associated with moving longevity products. Products really move themselves. If you're a health-minded person, if nutritional supplementation has helped you or a loved one, if you're an entrepreneur, if you enjoy the entrepreneur lifestyle, if you like making your own hours, making as much money as you want to make or as little money as you want to make, working as hard or as, or as not hard as you want to work, if you want to work out of your home, enjoy the tax benefits associated with having your own business, check out the longevity business for a one-time $25 fee. You can start your own business. Call 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. You can also sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And then I also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Balm, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Serum as well. They're all up at truthtreatments.com. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, oil, emulsifiers, water. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. If you're dealing with blemished skin or aging skin, if you want to prevent blemished skin or aging skin, vitamin C and vitamin A are your go-to topical ingredients, and my Truth Skin Health formulations are loaded with both. Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side, friends. We've been talking about green tea and polyphenols, those powerful plant nutrients. You're going to hear more and more about polyphenols in the coming months and the coming years. I'm, I'm getting emails now and, and uh, YouTube videos, and I see infomercials about polyphenols and phytonutrients. More and more, they're becoming well-known as a... As a uh, uh, not quite a nutritional supplement because they're not really, well, they, I guess they are nutrients. They're phytonutrients. They're not essential nutrients, but they still are very, very important. You get them in fruits and vegetables. We've been talking about green tea as a source of polyphenols and uh, the active ingredient EGCG for preventing cancer and heart disease for blood sugar problems. We said it makes a great topical ingredient for sun protection to prevent skin cancer. It's been shown to, EGCG has been shown to help patients with oily skin an article that was published in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology in 2012. Researchers showed that the active ingredient, EGCG, can help suppress the oil-stimulating effects of insulin 
Insulin and cortisol are your two oil secretion hormones. If you're dealing with oily skin, you got a stress problem, at least a stress hormone problem, and you got a sugar problem, at least a sugar hormone problem. That is cortisol and insulin, and that's how oily skin needs to be regarded. Well, it turns out that EGCG, epigallocatechin gallate is the technical name, the active ingredient in green tea was shown to slow down the movement and growth of skin oil, uh, cells that produce skin oil, sebocytes they're called. Pretty much the, all, the, all the signs of acne, the pimples and the bumps and the oil, uh, all the, all the uh, unpleasant, unpleasantries that are associated with the acneic skin conditioner are linked to insulin, thus the benefits of EGCG, which has, as we've said before, a very important insulin supporting property. EGCG also acts as an anti-inflammatory. You can make your own anti-oil skin mask with green tea just by using the tea leaves. You can make, steep the tea leaves in water and just use the tea leaves as, as a mask. You don't have to do anything but just use the tea leaves. It makes a great mask. You can make a solution of the tea, add it to the uh, add it to oatmeal or any other dry bentonite clay or, or perhaps uh, uh, Redmond clay, which is a really neat clay that you get in that's made uh, uh, found in Wyoming. Kaolin clay, add some green tea to it, and you can make yourself your own anti-acne, anti-oily skin mask. And by the way, you don't need to use green tea to get EGCG. It's found in various fruits and vegetables. Apples have it, especially Fuji apples. Nuts and berries have EGCG in it. Uh, carob flour has EGC, EGCG in it. Carob is kind of similar to chocolate, not quite as flavorful, but it is a good source of EGCG. And it's also, by the way, carob is also a good source of protein. Last thing I want to talk about when it comes to green tea is the active ingredient called theanine, T-H-E-N-I-N-E, -E, theanine, which is a calming substance that it is uh, claimed anyway, can help with mental issues like anxiety, depression, stress, and it can be a sleep aid for folks who are dealing with insomnia. Theanine is what accounts for one of green tea's most interesting properties, and that is its relaxation effects. Now, green tea is caffeinated. It doesn't have a whole bunch of caffeine, probably 30 milligrams or so in a cup, maybe a third, uh, a third to a half as much, as much uh, caffeine as you'll get in a cup of coffee. I think a cup of coffee has anywhere from 80 to 120 milligrams of caffeine in it. So it's not, it's not going to be as caffeinated as coffee, but it has, a, has, a, has some caffeine in it. Nonetheless, green tea has a calming effect. It doesn't give you a jittery caffeine buzz unless you overdo it. The Japanese and the Chinese have been using green tea as a relaxing and soothing beverage for over a thousand years. The secret to the relaxing effects of the caffeinated beverage, green tea, is a result of the action of theanine, which is very similar to a brain chemical, a neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitters or brain chemicals are essentially brain hormones. Theanine has a chemical structure that's very similar to an important brain hormone that energizes nutrient, uh, neurons, energizes brain chemicals, or brain cells, I should say. It's called glutamate. And glutamate can be considered as your brain's yippee energizing chemical, as opposed to GABA, which is an inhibitory chemical. Glutamine and GABA work together in concert, and glutamine levels are not supposed to get too high, and GABA levels are not supposed to get too high, and they kind of balance each other out. By the way, GABA, which you've probably heard of because we've talked about GABA a lot as an anti-seizure agent, as a sleep aid, as a relaxing aid, GABA, your brain's natural relaxing chemical, is essentially a form of our favorite short-chain fat that we talk about a lot on this program, butyric acid a short chain fatty acid. We've talked uh, probably once a week, we'll talk about butyric acid and butyrate as, as a very important uh, short chain fatty acid that's produced in the intestine by the action of bacteria, probiotic bacteria on fiber. We eat our fiber and the good bacteria in our gut chew up the fiber and, uh, and uh, release the stuff called butyric acid. Butyric acid is a relaxing chemical, has a lot of really cool benefits, we'll talk about that when we come back from our break, we'll also take your phone calls in our next segment. We've got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour. Joe Maxim is going to talk about nutrition, uh, uh, nutrition for addictions. We'll talk about uh, that at the bottom of the hour. We'll get your calls next segment. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll return right after this. Okay. 
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here this segment. We've got Joe Maxim coming up at the bottom of the hour. Joe Maxim has a uh, addiction, a nutritional addiction withdrawal formula. He's an addiction recovery expert. He actually uh, cured himself of addiction using nutritional supplements. We'll be talking to him at the bottom of the hour. We'll get your calls here in this segment. 844-236-6010 is our number. I think we'll talk about, uh, we'll talk, continue talking about glutamine tomorrow. I'm sorry, uh, theanine tomorrow, which is a uh, active ingredient that's found in green tea, very similar to a molecule called glutamate, which many of you guys have heard of. Glutamate has gotten some negative press. There are some physicians out there who are beating up a little bit on glutamate, unfortunately so, because glutamate is the brain's most important chemical, although it is found in foods, uh, it is uh, included in foods as an artificial additive, and that's where we run into problems with glutamate. We will talk about that tomorrow, and we'll continue talking theanine and green tea on the bright side. Time to hit the phones, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Alex in New Jersey. What's going on, Alex? Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. I What's up? I have a question about cravings. Sure. Okay, so under normal circumstances, I don't usually crave sweet, but I did hear on one of your shows that um, pr- like if craving sweet could be like the body not having enough protein. Yep. So I was wondering if it makes a difference if um, if I'm menstruating because when I am, I have crazy cravings for sweets. So that's great. Yep. What I want to know. That's pretty much what you're looking at, my dear. Blood. When you lose blood, you're losing protein, and uh, when you're losing protein, you're going to need more. And if you don't have an easy source of protein, and protein is the hardest food to really find good sources of, it's much easier to go for sugar. Plus, there's all kinds of hard wiring in the body and the brain that gives us this nonstop drive for sugar. It's everywhere. So uh, it's a source of high energy. The brain is very happy when it has sugar. So it's pretty easy to uh, replace the, sh- the, the real need for protein with a craving for sugar. In other words, a craving for sugar is a disguise for the need for protein. Go, go with the protein, specifically a kind of amino acid, which is a building block of protein called glutamine. Now, we've been talking about glutamate, or we talked a little bit, a bit about glutamate this morning. We'll talk more about it tomorrow. Glutamine is not glutamate. They sound very similar. They're very different. Uh, glutamine is an incredibly important amino acid for a lot of things. You've probably heard us talk about it on the program. It's, I just absolutely love the stuff. I use it pretty much daily. Uh, but it's also a great, great, great supplement for sugar cravings. Just put half a teaspoonful in water, maybe once or twice a day. You'll get all the benefits of glutamine, which is the body's most abundant amino acid. And that includes building, building muscle, building bone, brain health benefits, immune health benefits. It's a detox substance. And plus, it's awesome for sugar cravings. Um, you can also use, uh, if you, uh, more protein like high protein containing foods, especially whey protein and egg protein. Those are also, those will also um, take care of sugar cravings. I also like using soluble fiber as a way to deal with sugar cravings. And then here's a, here's a counterintuitive trick for dealing with sugar cravings, Alex, eat sugar. And what I mean by that is, I'm not trying to be a smart Alec here. What I mean by that is instead of going for cake and processed foods and uh, soda pop and all the other th- ways that we get sugar in our system, if you absolutely positively have to have sugar, get a spoon of sucrose and just do sugar, uh, uh, some sugar water. You'll find that you can't okay. really do very much of it. You'll, uh, you'll only be able to do about a quarter cup of the sugar water, a teaspoon of sugar water, but it will really take care of your sugar cravings. It doesn't have a lot of calories. It's not great for your insulin, that's for sure, and it's not okay. great if you're a diabetic, but if you're really jonesing on sugar, it's way better than processed foods and cake. Uh, it's much easier for the body to handle uh, than, than the kind of foods that we eat that have a lot of, that have a lot of sugar in them. Does that help you? Yes, it does. Thank you so much. All right, Alex. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Good to talk to you. Yeah, I, I know that sounds really crazy to just do sugar water, but you can't do very much sugar water. It's pretty intense stuff, and you'll find it takes care of your sugar cravings, and it's a lot better for you than most of the foods that we eat that have sugar. Not that it's good. I'm not, definitely not saying it's good. You know, it, it's a good thing to do, but if you absolutely have to have sugar, it's better for you than most of the foods that we do eat that contain uh, that have sugar in them. 
All right, uh, let's go to Robert in Ohio. Good morning, Robert. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Pharmacist Ben. How's it going? Hey, I have seasonal allergies, and uh, I'm gluten-free. I'm uh, dairy-free right now. Okay. Uh, Apple cider vinegar helps. Nice. And uh, I was wondering if you could... Yeah. Give yeah, lots of ideas strategies. for you. Yeah, sure. Here's the deal. I'm assuming you're gluten-free and you're dairy-free because you had some digestive issues with the gluten and the dairy, correct? Yes. Okay. So if you have digestive issues, it's great that you're gluten-free, it's great that you're dairy-free, but there's still a lot of other things that can compromise digestive health. Seasonal allergies need to first and foremost be regarded as an intestinal issue. Most of your the allergies are obviously an immune problem, and most of your immune system is in the intestine. So anytime you have any kind of immune problem, even though it doesn't seem like it's a digestive problem, that's what you want to focus on. Gluten is, you know, it's great to be gluten-free, but there's lots of compounds in, in in, uh, in grains that are problematic that aren't gluten. So you may be gluten-free, but you may be contacting other, other of these compounds, uh, other of these molecules that are found in grains particularly. Uh, also, uh, if you uh, have a problem with dairy, the odds are good that you may have a problem with eggs as well. Eggs, egg and dairy allergies sometimes are, uh, found, are found close together. So if you have a problem with one, you may have a problem with the other. Uh, I'd be looking for foods. Do a food diary and elimination diet and, and kind of assess your digestive symptoms. Then get yourself on probiotics. More and more, we're understanding that there's a very important relationship between the microbiome and seasonal allergies and hay fever. So get yourself on the nightly essence. Use prebiotics with the, with the nightly essence. Prebiotics are, uh, support the probiotics, and the best prebiotic is fiber. I got an email a couple days ago from a guy, I think it was yesterday actually, from a guy who wanted to know about a prebiotic supplement that's being advertised. You don't need any fancy schmancy prebiotic supplements. Prebiotics are basically just fiber. So eating fermented veggies, which will get you the, the good bacteria plus the fiber, that's a good strategy, or just doing straight fiber, grinding up flaxseed fiber, or grinding up flax seeds, or grinding up chia seeds, or flax seeds and chia seeds. I do a flax seed and chia seed beverage every day, pretty much every day. I put turmeric in there as well. Turmeric is also really good for the digestive system. Focus on gut health is the bottom line here. You may also want to consider things like digestive enzymes with your apple cider vinegar, and perhaps bile salts, which can help the liver and also help, uh, help, uh, help uh, support intestinal health as well. You'll get bile salts in the ultimate enzymes, but you can throw in some additional bile salts, which you can buy in a health food store. Uh, it sounds like you're doing well, though. That's uh, really, really uh, some good self-medicating with the apple cider vinegar. I'm well, impressed there, Rob. Well, the good job. The, the probiotics seem to make things worse. And which uh, which probiotics? Well, I, I take an up, up four, that's a, a name brand type of thing. Mix it up a little bit. Some there's different different brands have different formulations, and you'll find different you'll okay. get different results from different formulations. Uh, you I think you were talking about quercetin. I heard you say quercetin, and that's yeah. another good point. Flavonoids and the polyphenols can also support digestive health. That's that might okay. be something else to try. All right, buddy. Good good to talk to you, Robert. And right, uh, thank you. We we gotta take a break. Thank you for your call. And I'm sorry if we left you on hold. We've got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour. So if we left you on hold, give us a call back tomorrow. Tell our call screener we left you on hold, and we'll get you first up. We're gonna talk to Joe Maxim in our next segment about nutrition and addiction. You are listening to the bright side on the Genesis Communication Network. back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. If you miss a program, they're all reviewable. We also have blog posts and news stories at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, and you can purchase Longevity products off the websites as well. So, I always get these letters about addiction, and I know it is absolutely miserable to be hooked on something and to want to get off of it. I've been addicted to things myself. I was addicted to cigarettes when I was a kid. So I'm very excited to have my next guest on, Joe Maxim. He has recovered from addiction himself. 30 years ago, and he discovered that he had a calling, which was to recover, was to help other people recover from their addictions. He's founded something called YOU, Young Overcomers United, which is dedicated to helping young people who are in the beginning stages of addiction, 
actually beginning stages, intermediate stages, and full-fledged stages of addiction. He's also the creator of a nutritional supplement uh, for addiction, and we are going to talk a little bit about nutrition for addiction. Please welcome to the Bright Side, Joe Maxim. Hey, Joe. Wow, thanks for having me, Ben. Good to talk to you, my man. So, uh, Thank you. We talk a lot about nutrition here, but I, I'm always curious about the idea of using nutrients for uh, for uh, ad for addictions, and I, I don't. I've had mixed results with using nutrients. I know there are things like cravings. We actually had a call a few moments ago from somebody who had cravings, and I always talk about using things like protein for sugar cravings, etc. But I want to talk sure. to you about some specific nutrients for addiction. Before we get into that, why don't you tell us a little bit about your story, your personal story? Oh, sure, absolutely. Uh, again, thank you for having me, I'm, Ben. I'm 54. I'm the youngest of eight children, five boys and three girls. Out of that eight. Uh, five of the boys and one of my sisters are alcoholics and addicts, and um, I grew up in this. So, unfortunately, this is all I've known all my life. Uh, I'm not a bad person. All eight of us have come uh, to make that big change. Uh, but for me, personally, uh, December 12, 1987, that was my so-called clean date. But I've been free from it now going on 30 years. So this December 12th, I think, will be 30 years, 100%. Um, being sober, and we also run a small nonprofit that helps young people with beginning stages, intermediate stages, full-fledged addiction. And to be honest with you, Ben, when we were helping them uh, in the three facets that we believe so important, spirit, soul, and the body, we were doing really good on the first two, but we weren't doing a good job on the third, which is the body. And addiction, I'm sure well, you're well Joe, aware. Joe, did you say spirit, yeah. soul? Did I hear you say spirit, soul? I, I didn't quite yeah. catch that. Spirit, spirit soul, soul very body. nice. Very nice, very nice. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. And so we have to address all three of them. And so we adjust the first two really good, the spirit and the soul. The body we were missing, and it's the physical well-being of a person. And it has to be of equal importance, but of that order. And we know in addiction that addiction is a 24-hour-a-day cycle for everybody, especially young people at all stages. And so it's been a long road. Um, and so eight years ago, we started helping young people with nutrition on the 24-hour-a-day cycle as they needed it. And in that, we found out a commonality on the 24-hour day cycle that they were missing through tiny amounts of blood work, real small saliva testing, a little bit of hair analysis, urine testing. And um, one of our, uh, well, Dr. Van Merkel, he's a board-certified clinical nutritionist and a chiropractor. He's the one who actually found out what we were missing 24 hours a day. And as we comprise the nutrients, man, just start making a difference. Um, there's no cure and there's no silver bullet. You know that. But it does help the daily regimen and get through this. Now, let me ask you a couple things, Joe. First of all, sure. I'm very, I'm intrigued. Well, first of all, what do you mean by 24-hour-a-day cycle? Uh, how, are you, how are you using that term? I mean, obviously, I know there's a 24-hour-a-day cycle, but how are you using sure. that term vis-a-vis -vis addiction? Well, um, for people in, 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 that are actively using, excuse me, they know it's a, it's a full-time job, especially in the opiate world. Right now, the opiate world is getting all the press across the country, right? But it right. starts somewhere. You know, the road to addiction starts somewhere. And a long time ago, a young man finally answered it for me. It starts at the beginning when you know you chose something that you knew that was wrong. So that starts the road to addiction. And at the beginning, fun stages, it's like your weekend warrior, middle of the week. And then it becomes almost a search for that 24 hours a day to have fun. And then at the beginning, the middle stages of it, it changes over a little bit to be having fun to really starting to want this a little more than just for the fun aspects. And then when you cross the line and your body becomes addicted to it, it needs it on a regular basis, basis 24 hours a day. And uh, we address those issues 24 hours a day. Uh, oh, for anybody, it's, it's, pretty, um, it's pretty basic, but yet uh, everybody's recovery is different. So when you talk about when you talk about twenty four hour day cycle, you mean people when they're addicted are addicted twenty four hours a day. That's what you're referring Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Okay, I got 100%. you. Okay, now yeah. what what about addiction? When we think about addiction, we think about opioids or smoking or alcohol, that kind of stuff. But what about addiction to things like work or addiction to um, uh, thinking or addiction to sex or addiction to things that aren't necessarily drugs? Is the same idea? Well, your body. Yeah. Um, it's, it's funny you ask that because. In this program that we run, we found out that the caregivers, the parents, the grandmas, the aunts, uncles, brothers, and sisters, they were starting to feel some of the negative effects of the people using. 
such as the sleepless night, such as the anxiety. The codependency. Overrated. You're talking about codependency? Is that you, what you mean? Yeah, um, you can use that word codependent. Uh, and they were feeling their GI tracts were starting to be disrupted just because of hmm. all the stress. Their cortisol levels are spiking. And, you know, realistically, they were starting to have some of the same deficiencies because of the byproducts of all the stress. And so we, we've we known that if it would help somebody in recovery with those uh, symptoms, so to speak, that it would help somebody that is just a caregiver. And, boy, it really works for us also. I mean, I still take, I take a lot of nutrients. Well, uh, but how about addiction to other things that are non-drugs, that well, are not, yeah. I believe uh, food is one. Any food, food, right? You're well aware, because I've listened to you before, that the sugar plays a key role in our body negatively. Um, certain things that we have toxins in our body, whether it's an excitotoxin, whether it's gambling, whether it's work, your body is not meant to work without some type of relaxation. You're not meant to work 20 hours a day. You're not. I mean, some people can do that. Some people can focus on, you know, running three hours of sleep, four hours of sleep. But there has to be a balance in the day. And the perfect cycle is the 24-hour day cycle. There has to be balance. I'm not against working 10, 12, 15 hours a day. Not at all. I do the same thing. Um, but it does play a toll on us. Uh, the, the gambling addiction that plays a toll on you, there's an anxiety issue there. There's the, there's the things that release uh, serotonin there, too, when you you go gambling. What happens? So you, You're are you is, I'm sorry. Is your is your uh, take on it that you can handle things like gambling addiction or uh, work addiction using nutritional supplementation too? You can you can you're not saying you can eliminate the addiction, but you can help support withdrawal using nutrition from even gambling addiction. Say, well, absolutely, absolutely. You can uh, nutrition plays a key role in all of our lives, especially when you're trying to quit something. You have to add something. It just it's really, you know, common sense here, too. Mm -hmm. So if it's not food and you're eliminating, okay, so my sugars, I, I drink 10 sodas a day. You, if you eliminate five, you're going to be hurting. You have to replace that with mm -hmm. Gotcha. And you have hey, to replace, I you know... Uh, we we got to take a quick break, and I, I want to talk about – we got to take a break. I'm sorry, Joe, but when we come back, I want to talk about some specific nutrients. We'll talk – you have a supplement. I want to talk about that a little bit. And then I also want to touch on this whole idea of spirit, spirituality and soul. I really I really like that uh, aspect of health in general, but also when it comes to addiction, I, I agree. There is a there's a sort of spiritual component that sometimes we miss. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Joe Maxim about nutrition and addiction. Joe, before we went to break, you, you touched on this idea of spirituality and soul. And I want to get into some new, m more meat and potatoes with the nutritional, uh, nutritional, nutrition and nutritional supplementation. But this is kind of intrigues me, the whole spiritual connection to, uh, to addiction and to disease in general. What's your take on all that? Well, I believe you have to address the spirit, soul, and the body, the spirit being the heart of a person. You don't have a heart physically, you die. You don't have a heart spiritually, you die spiritually. The soul, which is the mind, the motion, and the will, we need to address that through your doctors, through your counselors, through your sponsors, through your accountability partners, through your group meetings, individual meetings. And last but not least is the body, the physical well-being. And if we address that in, in that order of equal importance, you wouldn't believe the results. We're showing with, with young people. But it, it sounds, it is easy, but it's very difficult to keep that order. In other words, people, want it, pe people don't necessarily want to address the deeper issues f as much as the, the more superficial ones. Is that what you're saying? Well, correct, because the deeper issues take longer. You know, when you're detoxing, coming off a run, uh, so to speak, in that street language, you know, you're detoxing, you're coming out of detox, and you feel great, you're in a controlled environment. What do you do for your body when you leave that rehab, 30, 60, 90-day rehab? Well, now what? You're going to go back to smoking cigarettes, drinking coffee, and Mountain Dew. Uh, so now what? You have nothing in the body that's going to produce those healthy things that you know and we know that must be there in order to produce some type of good feelings. All right, so let's talk about some hardcore supplements, and then we'll talk about your particular product. What are some of the top supplements that you found that can help folks who are dealing with some kind of addiction? And does it matter what you're addicted to in terms of what supplements would benefit you? Uh, no, it doesn't, doesn't matter what you're addicted to because the body fights stress in a certain way. The body fights anxiety in a certain way. 
it fights uh, anything in the stomach a certain way. So what we have found out, there's not one nutrient that's going to address this complex complexity. So what we did, and there's big four, is like the synergistically blended, right? We've taken multiple nutrients that work well together, and we put them together. But the most, the key is here, Ben, is having a nutrient that is bioavailable, right? Big word. Because all that means is it's in the right form that the body can absorb. Again, our target uh, audience is people in recovery, so their body is really torn up inside. So if something goes in, like one a day vitamin that's not in the right form to help them, does absolutely no good. So we've done it uh, knowing what their body's going through uh, on the 24, again, the 24 hour day cycle. And we start at nighttime, Ben, for our sleep, our sleep pack. Uh, that's where we really started nutritional supplements. So do you know any, can you mention any specific nutrients or is it a, an entire system? Is that what you're saying? It is an entire system. Um, I believe me, I've tried, um, I've tried taking one or two or this or that and myself. And then, you know, when you're talking to young people who help develop all this, when I say young people, relatively young, 15 to 25, 30, and not too much older than 40, unless they're caregivers, um, you know, they would all say, they nickname me Big Joe, look, we're not getting high once a day. How can we take a one-a-day vitamin? And so there's, what a psychological, it... there's a psychological effect too. And so, you know, our PM packs, our, our little packets uh, are stamped with a V, one day at a time victory. Very significant. Uh, and our PM has it, they're color-coded. Uh, there's a probiotic and a fish oil and a sleep aid. Never been done before. But why did we do it at nighttime? It was because the 24-hour-a-day cycle, these young people were coming to us and saying, this is what I'm going through right now at this hour. And so we developed that, and it's a little unique. Um, and so we have, uh, and they're not in huge quantities, and that's the key, Ben. We don't want you to have a, a toxic flush. We don't want this to be a, like you're in an inpatient uh, facility and you're being detoxed. We want, a, we want a slow, ongoing, healthy relationship with your body and good nutrition. Now, how long do, before people notice results from, say, your particular product in well, terms we've of heard get, anywhere, We've heard anywhere from the first night with the PM sleep to a couple, two, three days. And you take it solid two weeks, you're going you're gonna to feel the difference. Um, and it's, again, it's not a, this isn't a, a miracle drug or this isn't a detox drug. These are just replenishing what the body's missing. Do you guys, uh, so, do you guys provide new support with the, with the supplements? I mean, as far as on, online and yeah, that kind of thing. All about, and there's 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 multiple ways you can do it, but we we knew we had to do it simple, and here's why. We have to back up to being an addict and to understanding the addict's lifestyle. You know, in a stamp bag of heroin, and we might digress, but I think you'll appreciate this in your listeners. Is stamped a certain way for a certain reason. The the dope man, so to speak, he he stamps his product, knowing that. People that if he has a good product, they're going to want what's on that stamp bag, whether whatever it's marked, uh, Midnight Express, China White, China Doll, White Lightning, Snowman, whatever it is. And so we've made something positive in our satchels, in our little sacket, the one day at a time victory, because that's synonymous in the recovery world, one day at a time. And we knew we had to brand that. So when people see it, they know, look, this is helping me one day at a time to win the victory. So one day at a time victory, hence Nutri Victory, the name of the company. And so our AM pack has the big circle with the V on it. It has seven different pills, color-coded, a couple red ones and yellow ones for certain reasons. And there's 72 different nutrients in seven pills. Actually, I can't name them all. But you will, this is sustainable energy. Um, there's clarity, a focus. Um, it, it works well. And, again, you've asked the question, the, the blending of it, it works well with what you just took the night before in the PM pack. Um, and one of the... One of the big, um, I want to say pluses for us, is multiple young people. Again, I say young because that's what, who helped develop this head problem with constipation after the opiate run. And that's for everybody, even if you do it for the right reason. And so we knew we had to address the GI tract top to bottom uh, with no colonic flushes, no, uh, no short-term solutions. We wanted a long-term solution. One of the benefits is sleep. Number, that's number one. Number two is elimination. Number three, there's a clarity of mind. And you can't help somebody, Ben, unless they start to have the clarity of mind. It's just not going to happen. And you're saying you can accomplish that with, a, with nutritional supplementation? Well, you can accomplish that with the aid of it. Um, and, again, it's, it's multiple it's multiple facets. You just can't give someone in recovery, why say, here, good luck, go, go to it. It's a combination. 
Now right, you so, have a little bit of exercise. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Exercise is definitely important. Cir- yeah, circulating. Yeah, getting the blood flow. That Happy hormones, people. detoxification, absolutely, I agree. So practically yeah. speaking, where do people get your supplements and how much does it cost? Just the practical how-tos. Practice to, uh, uh, recovery24, recovery24.com. That is recovery24.com. I can't make it any simpler than that. And, Ben, we knew, we really uh, looked at the price. And for $60 a month, I think it's fifty nine ninety nine. Uh, a month, you're getting over 72 nutrients a day. You're getting a sleep aid. You're getting probiotics. And, and the efficacy we have behind this is incredible. And um, it sounds cheap, but we had to get at that price for multiple reasons also. The average average heroin addict a day, a day is spending $100 a day. That's average. That's even low. Wow. So to do $60 a month is really, really uh, fantastic. We did it for the caregivers also because most people have called and said, what can I do for my son, my grandson, my daughter, my cousin? Well, if you can't talk to them, if you get them a ride somewhere and give them some good nutrition. Uh, so, again, it's recovery24.com, real simple to go to. Who's the guy who formulated this stuff? His name is Dr. Van Merkel. He's out of Ohio. He is a board-certified clinical nutritionist, and he is also a chiropractor, and he um, does a lot of work. Um, with science-based nutrition, uh, but he's uh, what a gem! I tell you, what a great guy! And, and uh, how, knew nothing. How, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, Joe. He knew nothing about addiction, and that's what I wanted. I needed somebody to know the body inside and out, but didn't know addiction, so he couldn't look at it except from mm-hmm. that scientific view. And I brought all the people to him uh, from from 12 o'clock at night till 12 o'clock the next night. You know, we said, we're going through this, we're going through that. What do we need? Boy, we went through eight years of development, multiple, multiple this and that. I'll tell you what, he's a, uh, he's, he knows the body inside now. Incredible man. So you had the idea to use nutrition for addiction, and then you, you uh, recruited these guys to help you out. This was your brainchild kind of thing? Yes, it is. That's pretty cool, Joe. And you, yeah. did you, before the supplements came out, did you explore using nutrients for your particular addiction? Absolutely. I mean, I was, uh, you know, way back when, I'm a little, I was very small growing up, and so I thought I wanted to be a professional bodybuilder, right? But, you know, unbeknownst to me, the path that was set before me in the family was full-fledged addiction. And so my body built my addiction to steroids and became the other drugs. Uh, anything you put in front of me was, it was a go. So, you know, you hear the, you hear the term, you know, what's your... Um, with the go-to drug. Or, it was everything. You name it. It was everything. All right. Hey, Joe, everything. we're out of time, buddy, but you're doing some beautiful, beautiful work. Thank you very much. It's recovery24.com, recovery24.com. Thanks, Joe. Hopefully we'll talk to you again, buddy, okay? Thanks. Uh, Big great. Joe Maxim, he calls himself, and his addiction supplements, are. Uh, you can find, him, find out all about them at recovery24.com, recovery24.com. That's all the time we have for today, friends. On the Bright Side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll continue talking green tea and theanine and polyphenols tomorrow. Have yourselves an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.